Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add a background to a PDF document to create visual interest. To add a background to a PDF, open the Tools pane and then expand the Pages panel. Then click the Background button and choose the Add Background command within the Edit Page Design section of the Pages panel to open the Add Background dialog box. In the Source section of the dialog box, either choose a solid color or an image or PDF page to use as the page background by selecting either the From Color or File option buttons. If you choose the From Color option button, click the adjacent color box and then select a preset color or define a custom color to use. To define a custom color, you can click the Other Color button that appears at the bottom of the drop-down menu to open the Color dialog box. Select a black cube in the Custom Colors section at the left side of the dialog box. Then use the arrow slider in the vertical slider to set the darkness or lightness, meaning luminosity, of the color. Then click and drag within the rainbow palette shown to select the desired color to create. You can also enter values directly into the hue, saturation, and luminosity fields, or the red, green, and blue fields to manually specify a color. You can then click the Add to Custom Colors button to add the selected color to the initially selected black cube. It will then appear within the Custom Colors section so that you will not need to define it again. After defining your custom color, click the OK button to return to the Add Background dialog box. After selecting a color, you will see an image of the page background color shown in the preview section to the right. If you instead choose the File Option button, then click the Adjacent Browse button to launch the Open dialog box. Navigate to find the image or PDF file to use, and then click the Open button. You will then be returned to the Add Background dialog box. You will see an image of the file shown in the Preview section to the right. If you selected a PDF file, you can then choose the page of the PDF to use as the background by using the Page Number Spinner box. You can also specify an absolute scale of the image within the page by typing a value into the Absolute Scale Spinner box. In the Appearance area of the Add Background dialog box, you can then adjust the appearance of the background by rotating the image, setting the opacity, and scaling of the page background. You can rotate the page background within the page by entering the custom rotation in degrees into the rotation spinner box. Enter the percentage of opacity for the page background by typing it into the opacity spinner box or by using the adjacent slider to set the percentage. You can adjust the scale of the page background relative to the page size by checking the Scale Relative to the Target Page checkbox and then entering the scaling percentage of the page size to use into the adjacent spinner box. You can click the Appearance Options hyperlink to set additional options in the Appearance Options dialog box. You can check or uncheck the options to show when printing and show when displaying on screen to enable or disable those features. Then click the OK button to apply them. In the Position section, you can manually position the page background by entering values into the Vertical Distance and Horizontal Distance spinner boxes. Then select a unit of measure for those values from the adjacent drop-downs for both. Then choose the anchor point in the page from which to measure each of those distances by selecting one from the adjacent From drop-down for both. By default, the background color or image will be applied to every page in the PDF. If you only want to display a background image on a certain page, or on a range of pages, 
Click the Page Range Options hyperlink at the top right corner of the dialog box to launch the Page Range Options dialog box where you can specify to which pages the page background should be applied. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply it to the selected pages. Using the preview area of the dialog box, you can click through the pages in the PDF document to see what they will look like before applying the page background by using the preview page spinner box. This is an especially important step if you're using a background image rather than a color. Be sure to visually preview each page of the PDF to make sure that the background image doesn't interfere with the legibility of text in the PDF. While a background image isn't visible on areas of the page that are displaying other images, the background will be visible behind text. When using a background color, be careful not to select a shade that is too close to the color of the text in the PDF. You want the background to complement, not to compete with, your page contents. To save your current page background settings so that you can apply them to other PDF documents in the future by simply choosing the name of the saved settings from the Saved Settings drop-down, click the Save Settings button at the top of the Add Background dialog box. In the Save Settings dialog box, type a name for the saved settings and then click the OK button. Now after creating the current page background settings, click the OK button to apply the page background. To update an existing page background, click the background button in the Edit Page Design section of the Pages panel and then select the Update command from the drop-down menu to launch the Update Background dialog box which is the same as the Add Background dialog box. Make any changes to the settings shown here that you want and then click the OK button to apply them. To remove a page background, click the background button in the Edit Page Design section in the Pages panel and then select the Remove command from the drop-down menu. Then click the Yes button in the pop-up message box that asks you to confirm your choice to remove the page background. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.